Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and give you some manifestation advice that I know will help you achieve all of your manifestations to full fruition, okay? Before getting started with the video, and I'm probably gonna say this in a lot of my videos, okay? So um, yeah, I just wanted to introduce the Patreon group that I have where we're doing a group manifestation challenge. So manifesting as a group actually helps amplify your manifestation, okay? Helps accelerate your manifestations because when multiple minds are manifesting for the same cause, for the same thing that, you know, does amplify the power of the manifestation through the collective, right? Like he was harnessing the power of the collective, uh, which by the way, everyone is just us pushed out, right? So it's like every aspect of our mind, uh, everyone is rooting for us, rooting for all of us to get our manifestations. It has no choice but to manifest and manifest fast, okay? So uh, what we do in that group is I give signs every week that you should look out for and if anyone sees any of those signs, they just have to comment, okay, I saw this sign and I intend that every single person in this group gets their manifestation to full fruition. If someone else is seeing a sign, that means it's your sign that things are working, that things are manifesting for you, okay? And if you see signs, you know, definitely, uh, yeah, say the same thing, okay, I saw this sign, I intend that every single person in this group gets their manifestation to full fruition in the best form, okay? Uh, I also have extended readings on the Patreon for my tarot readings where I give exclusive manifestation advice and I also pick initials for those tarot readings, you know, if you um, watch like you know, tarot readings on my channel and yeah, I kind of want to treat it as like a manifestation, you know, one of those like manifestation like groups that you see on Facebook where we share success stories and we also... Uh, you can also ask me like questions, okay, regarding manifestation or anything. I, I will do my best to answer them. It's literally like a Facebook group, but on Patreon, okay, and with more content and a lot of videos and yeah, a science challenge. So if you're interested in that, the link to that will be in the description box below. It's five dollars a month for unlimited manifestation advice and of course the sign challenge. So yeah, I just want to say don't feel obligated to do this. This is just something if you want extra support. Um, you can manifest by yourself. You don't even need coaching. I offer coaching, but you don't need coaching. You don't need anyone else. It's just you. But if you feel like you need extra support, you just want people, you know, that understand what you're going through. Because trust me, I understand. Oh my gosh. Like whenever people come to me, like, you know, they, they feel like they're crazy, but I'm just like, no, I've been there. I understand this. And there's multiple people that have like gone through the same thing. That's also, you know, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for this tag thing. I hope it's not annoying people too much. But, you know, something that I want to say is I really like that the internet exists. I like that social media exists because uh, it makes us, you know, feel like we're not alone. A lot of the time, you know, I would feel like heightened emotions and certain things. And, you know, I thought I was crazy because like other people around me weren't really feeling it to the extent that I was feeling it. And then I found TikTok, I found YouTube, and I'm just like, wait, there's other people like me all around the world that have been through the same things as me. I am so glad that I found this community. So, you know, really having that community, um, of people where people understand you and don't judge you because this is a judgment free zone helps a lot so yeah if you're interested in that again check out the description box below where you will see my website you can sign up for that through my website so yeah okay without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started with uh giving you some manifestation advice for my law of assumption deck okay um oh i really like this one so this card says you are the matrix okay it's not so much about you hacking the matrix you are the matrix everything is a projection of your consciousness okay the universe is meant me it, there's there's this thing called mentalism, okay, where uh, it just means like, you know, everything is a projection of your consciousness. Everything is a reflection of your thoughts. The universe responds to your thoughts. And I know a lot of people also think like, you know, it responds to your emotions and feelings, which is true, but you can't have emotions and feelings without thoughts, okay? So at the end of the day, the, you know, uh, the root of it is your thoughts, okay? So the, the more like, you know, uh, thoughts you think in your favor, even if it feels a little bit fake, even if you feel like you're faking the positivity, when you say it enough, it becomes the truth, okay? People have literally manifested themselves out of like poverty, out of illness, sickness, uh, anxiety, depression, you know, all of this by just thinking differently, okay? Like nothing else, you know, external needed. Although I do want to say that uh, if you feel like you need medical help, please seek a medical professional, okay? This is not... Um, this is not a substitute for therapy, whatever I'm saying is for entertainment purposes, but I will say whatever I had going on in my life, I did it without any sort of, you know, medication. Uh, I'm not on any medication right now. Okay, I'll take like supplements here and there, like vitamin C, D, but 
every single struggle that I had, I thought myself out of it. Okay. I literally just chose a different reality by choosing different thoughts that only, you know, choosing to be conscious of the reality that I desire, that I want to experience. And I got myself out of those situations into better situations. And now I'm thriving. Like I'm genuinely happy. Like I love the fact that I can say this on camera that, you know, I'm genuinely happy. I'm living my best life. And I'm just like so content and fulfilled. Okay. Um, and like these were my affirmations and they still are. I still remind myself that, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so content. I'm so fulfilled. And even if like, you know, sometimes like negative things happen to me here and there, um, they don't trigger me as much. And like, they're not you know, at the same caliber or scale that they used to happen to me before I started doing this work. Okay, and that's going to be the same thing for you. You don't have to keep going through the same things again and again. You don't have to keep, you know, experiencing the same thing again, the same cycle, the same pattern. In fact, the concept of, you know, experiencing the same cycle or pattern is even something that's in, that you manifest it. Okay, there are some people that don't have, you know, negative patterns uh, in love or uh, when it comes to money. I actually never had a negative pattern when it came to money. Like I always had enough money, um, you know, and like, I'm not even saying that to brag, but it's true. But like, you know, now I'm making my own money. Okay, like living on my parents' money was different than making my own money. I did have some limiting beliefs about making my own money. Um, but it's like, you know, some people just don't have that pattern. A lot of people, you know, they've had like pretty smooth sailing love lives. Maybe they had like a breakup here and there, but like, you know, they're happy now. And it's like, just because, you know, you've experienced something negative in the past, like been cheated on, ghosted, it does not mean you have to keep going through the same thing again and again. Just tell yourself that these patterns and cycles don't exist. You've broken through them. You've healed through them. You only experience, um, the love that you desire you are always chosen you're always wanted okay you're always prioritized you're always on the pedestal okay saying these things will break through um deep layers of programming and conditioning that you have you know gone through as a result of experiencing life okay it's really that easy it's just about um it's just about you consciously telling yourself a different story okay and like some people you know for some people, it comes easier than others because we all have different experiences. We all have different beliefs. So it's okay if it's taking a little bit longer for you. It's okay if you have to affirm more, you know, put in a little bit more work. But like, you know, the payoff, the results are amazing, okay? Like it really does work. I am the type of person where maybe I had to work a little bit like, harder than other people. Like I had to robotically affirm for something again and again and again for me to get something that, you know, some other people had gotten pretty easily. They've never affirmed a day in their life. Like maybe they've heard of manifestation, but they don't believe in it. But I would affirm again and again until that thing materialized in my reality. And, you know, it, when, when it came through, like I wasn't, you know, annoyed at like, oh my gosh, I spent so many hours doing this. I was happy because I'm just like, wait, this is like, you know, implanted in my brain. Like this has impressed onto my subconscious mind. Like this is something that I feel so secure and so good about. And like robotic affirming, you know, just made me feel really good about, just like the process of manifesting because i do think manifesting should be fun it should be enjoyable okay when you start manifesting for something there's a lot of other good things that start happening and i highly 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 recommend that you write this down every single day i literally have a note section where um you know in my phone i really like the google notes app you know you can like change the colors and like customize it but uh in, in one of the notes i write down every single good thing that happens to me that day i think i'm on like day 48 or something uh it's it's gonna be like a lifelong manifestation challenge some people do like 60 day manifestation challenges 90 days i write you know, something good that happened to me every day, even if it was just seeing a sign, even if it was just seeing like a certain angel number that I look out for, um, I make it a habit to write that down every day. It doesn't matter how busy I am. doesn't matter if I'm tired, sleepy. Maybe if I miss a day, you know, I'll write it down the next day. Like, oh, this happened to me yesterday. But like, I have diligently done this every day. My life has changed. Okay. Um, yeah, it literally, it, it, it doesn't even have to take that long. Okay. Just like it, it takes like 30 seconds, just open up the app on your phone, you know, write down like, oh, I saw this sign. Oh, someone complimented me today. And that's it. And like, you know, whenever I feel discouraged, like I look at just the amount of things that I've manifested. And, um, you know, sometimes I even like seeing like, oh, uh, when was I manifesting a lot? Cause like there were certain days where like everything kind of came in all at once. And I just like, you know, became like pretty conscious that helped me become, um, 
you know, more conscious of the way that I think or like, you know, understand my subconscious mind better because a lot of this journey is about getting to know yourself on a deeper level and getting to know how your brain works, which I personally think is the best and biggest gift. Okay. Like, don't get me wrong. I like seeing things happen in the 3d, but understanding myself on such a deep level has been like the most enlightening, fulfilling experience ever. So I highly recommend that, you know, you write down every single good thing that you manifested in order for you to, um, you know, like live, like, again, get to know yourself in the best way possible on a deeper level and really just live your best life. Because like when I see all these good things happening for me, I'm just like, wait, like, wow, my life is actually so good. Like there's so much that I have to be grateful about. And sometimes, you know, we just need that reminder. So yeah, definitely do do that. Um, yeah, like I said, reality is a projection of your consciousness. Whatever you're thinking about gets projected into your reality. If you don't like it, you can modify it. Um, okay, so yeah. Let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards. Yeah, this is similar to what I was saying. I am grateful for all the good in my life. I choose to only be conscious of and focus on the good. I choose to only focus on the good. So what I don't do is I don't write down like anything negative that happened to me. Barely anything negative happens to me. But like, yeah, I, I only write down the good things that happen to me. And that's the only thing that I choose to be conscious of. Okay. And when you focus on the good, it's like the negative stuff doesn't even affect you. And like, you built a new neural pathway for only focusing on the good. And you keep getting evidence of that. Like Sammy Ingram said, your subconscious mind is a proof producing machine. Okay. It produces proof on what you think about the most. That's again, what ends up getting, you know, projected into your reality that's what you end up manifesting so if you're looking for you know good things to happen you have to tell yourself only good things happen to me i only choose to be conscious of the good things okay i really like this one i have the perfect self-concept in every area of life so i know there are some people that are confident they have like a general high self-concept but maybe you know they're they have to do a little bit of work in a certain area of life okay like i know people that are very successful at work but may may not have the best self-concept when it comes to love or people that are genuinely confident but like maybe they're not that confident in their ability to make money okay whatever it is just just work on that aspect of life actually i really like blanket affirmations i have the perfect self-concept in every area of life my self-concept is so high in every single area okay my self-concept has always been perfect in this area of life i really like always affirmations because you're telling yourself that's all that's always been the case. And like, you will start thinking from that perspective, you're going to like literally change your brain. Okay. Like change like the structure the chemicals that get emitted in your brain. When you say that, Oh, I've always manifested this good thing. Okay. Your brain is going to start giving you evidence of, you know, all of the good things that happened in your past, all the, you know, uh, like even through other people, like if you're thinking of like, you know, good thoughts, maybe people will reflect that back to you or they'll tell you a story of something good that happened to them, okay? Um, by doing this work, what you're essentially doing is you are shifting to um, a higher state of consciousness, okay? Something I want to point out is like, you know, dimensions. So dimensions are not necessarily like a physical place, like another you know, physical realm or even realms, dimensions, whatever you want to call it. It's just a higher state of consciousness. It's, it's just a different state of consciousness. You're not really changing the earth that you're on physically. You're just changing, um, you know, your experiences, your quality of experiences uh, by changing your concept of self, Okay, at the end of the day, everything just reflects back you to you in different forms. We're all the same consciousness experiencing ourselves, experiencing the consciousness through different perspectives. Okay, so if you can shift your perspective on something, aka changing your assumptions about something, you know, doing self concept really helps you change those assumptions into something positive. It has no choice but to manifest in that exact way, shape, and form. And this really does work, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, I've been affirming a lot of self-concept and I keep attracting, like, higher quality experiences, you know, just, like, uh, people that I connect with more, okay? Just better quality everything, okay? Like, just the best offers, the best deals that I can get, a really peaceful life, a fun life, okay? Like, I have not had drama with anyone in, like, years, okay? And it, it's just the best thing ever. Like, I feel like, you know, heaven does exist on earth. I know some people say things like, oh, earth is just like, you know, a school that's meant to teach you things. But I, I, I don't think that's true. But some people are just like, oh, earth is hell. And I'm just like, it's only hell if you think it's hell. It's only hell if you perceive it as being hell. But 
and I used to think that way too like oh this is how they get me out of this this is the cosmic ghetto this and that um but I realized like it's you know it's all based on me if earth is hell that means like I'm hell like, I'm experiencing hell in some way internally and that's just being projected out but if I don't want that then I would say things like earth is heaven I love you know I love my life I'm so happy I'm so content I'm so fulfilled okay earth will be a paradise earth will be a heaven okay no matter where you live no matter where you are like you, you can create paradise if you consciously choose to do that you don't need to go to a beach in the caribbean although i love i love beaches on the caribbean so much uh but you yeah you don't need to go you know to a beach or whatever to experience paradise you can experience it like right now in like the vicinity of your room okay it all depends on your state of mind your consciousness which you know all boils down to your thoughts okay that's that's really all it is it's just your thoughts your thoughts do manifest like i feel like you know uh there's a lot of books out there a lot of content out there that really explains the science behind thoughts that really explains you know very very deep spiritual you know esoteric con esoteric how do you say that yeah you know what i mean concepts but like when you summarize it when you really get down to the core of it everything says the same thing like persistence is key consistency is key just think good thoughts just think positive thoughts just repeat your thoughts until it becomes a belief and then keep repeating it until it becomes a dominant belief which is a state and then keep repeating that until you're in that state for good and that's what you know materializes in your 3d reality that's essentially like every single like book every single text that i've read okay uh, from different cultures, from different languages, like repetition is key. Your thoughts do manifest. Okay, um, the universe responds. It, it, it's mental. Like it, you know. It, I just felt so weird saying that. Oh, the universe is mental. But like, no, the concept of mentalism, I wholeheartedly do believe is true. And also, it's your conviction in things, your assumptions about things that also make them, you know, true. That make them a reality. Like if you think affirming will work if you think that like you have the power you hold the power um then it will work okay a lot of this is a lot of manifestation is just about reaffirming your god state or your operant power state it's all about you just realizing that you're creating you're in power here okay nothing would exist like if it wasn't for you everything is your consciousness that's you know the whole concept of everyone is you pushed out you assign you know the roles that people play in your reality and they have no choice but to reflect that back to you. You're not messing with anyone's free will, okay? Because it's your reality. You're just selecting a different version of them. There's nothing wrong in selecting a different version of reality experience person, okay? And, you know, again, you're the only conscious thinker. You're the only thinker in your reality. Like, you're the only person that is conscious. Like, even if you try to think from someone else's perspective, that's still your perspective of their perspective. So you see how everything is literally just you. It all boils down to you. Like, you're the... Um, you're the main character here actually you're technically the only character here but i mean yeah you're the director here you assign roles to um other people even experiences even things and they have no choice but to reflect that back to you like i literally like manifested my wi-fi working by saying things like oh my wi-fi always works for me and this, this is kind of a funny affirmation but i'm like i am someone for whom the wi-fi always works for and it actually worked okay or uh, yeah sometimes you know i'll just say things like oh my life is perfect this is working right now my life is perfect my life's perfect my life's perfect um yeah seriously like you can change anything you just have to understand that you have the power to do so so yeah um i i do want to let you know that i offer one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching also custom make subliminals i do have a guide out on my etsy that you can use to manifest love specific love soulmate love a new person whatever you're trying to manifest and do join the patreon if you're interested in joining a group manifestation challenge where we affirm for others and amplify the power of all of our manifestations and yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I intend that every single person watching this video gets their manifestations to full fruition. And yeah, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.